Final Fantasy 2, or more commonly, I, I suppose, known these days as Final Fantasy 4, is probably the game that really defined Final Fantasy as a franchise, uh, more so than I think a lot of people give it credit for. Most people, from what I remember from back in the day, really looked up the games like Final Fantasy 7 and 6 VI and 10 as being the defining examples of of GRPG goodness, and for good reason. They they all did a lot of innovative, interesting things with their gameplay design, with their with their narrative decisions, uh, with their general gameplay feel, and just g general overall quality. But I think out of all the Final Fantasy games, four is the one that really kind of I think of as being the definitive Final Fantasy experience because I think it does. The bare essentials of what a Final Fantasy fantasy game should be. It is a game about a man's single a single man's quest for redemption and the people he he meets along the way, uh, his relationship with those around him, uh, dealing with the uh, with his uh, dealing with what he his personal struggles of what he values, and it does so in a very effective very meaningful a very impactful way uh, one that resonates with me even today i was really shocked actually with how much i enjoyed the story in this playing this again all these years later of seeing cecil just seeing the way this character this the character of uh cecil is introduced to the audience seeing him try to justify the actions of his king to his to his men only to sort of be stripped of his title and sent on a errand to, uh, on behalf of his king, to destroy a village. It's it's so it, it's it's surprising at, at how 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 effective this game is, considering the the time period when this came out and uh, how old it is. Uh, you, you know, this came out in ninety two, I think, um, almost thirty years old, right? Uh, amazing, amazing game, and um, I, I think what's more. Is that it's actually very much fun to very fun to play too. Each character uh, has their own set of abilities that sort that are designed around uh, the narrative structure and what bosses and what enemies you'll be you'll be uncovering. Uh, for example, characters will join and leave your party at regular intervals. Uh, the game is very much revolved around Cecil, rather than like most later uh, Final Fantasy games where you can switch your party at whenever you like you're uh, you're you're relegated to cer using certain characters at certain points in the story like for example uh kane leaves you at regular intervals he joins you again he leaves because he's under mind control rosa gets sick at one point uh you have to leave her behind to find a cure um uh, characters like edward join the party for a short while and then uh and then are, are shafted uh palam and Porum join you at one point uh uh, they eventually get turned to stone. Uh, the, the protagonist of the protagonist, the protagonist Cecil, right? You spend the entire first part of the game playing as a dark knight, and then uh, when Cecil kind of uh, comes to a per overcomes a great personal ordeal, he becomes a paladin, and he kind of has to relearn a bunch of. Uh, he has to start from the beginning. He has to start from level one with this new class that has its own abilities and new strengths and weaknesses. Um, like, it does a really good job just just showcasing the struggle that all of these characters are going through and and what it means for them. And for a, for a, for a game like this is is phenomenal. I, uh, I, I very much enjoyed the story to this game. I uh, still do, actually. Um, and, and this is this is the first time I've ever played the Super Nintendo version, actually. So, so that's uh, that's another that's another thing to keep in mind is that like I grew up with the DS version. Uh, that that was the version I played growing up, and uh, that that probably is the definitive version of the game at this point. But uh, the Super Nintendo original still holds up to this day. I, I very much enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed my time with it, and uh, I really would recommend this as being one of the the quintessential jrpg games i like this just as much as the dragon quest games i've recently been going through